Welcome back, friends, to another weekly video. This has been a crazy week. So last Friday, the President of the United States declared a national emergency for the coronavirus pandemic. And in the last week, the world has been in chaos. And in all of this craziness, I think it's really important that we take a step back and talk about ethics. There is a concept in ethics that I haven't talked about before, but I think is very important. And this concept is called the fraud triangle. This is a very important concept, and I think it's particularly relevant to what's happening in the world today. So what is the fraud triangle? Well, accounts have done a lot of research around why fraud happens. Why does fraud happen in a business? And they've looked at all of these cases of fraud. And what they've discovered is that there's three factors that usually all happen when fraud exists. So these are the three factors that make up the fraud triangle. Pressure, opportunity, and rationalization. First, let's talk about pressure. Now, pressure can be a couple of different things. It could be internal over financial distress or addiction, or it could be work pressure to make unrealistic performance goals, or it could be external pressure of you trying to meet um, certain credit ratings for your organization. Next is opportunity, and this refers to weak internal controls that make it easy for somebody to steal money from your organization. And finally, we have rationalization. And rationalization describes when there's an environment that just makes it easy for people to say, it's okay to commit fraud. So this could happen when there's a very unfair environment or when ethics aren't taken seriously, or when a business says it's more important to make money than it is to act with ethics. So fraud is like a plant. It's like a plant that grows, and it grows when you have the right environment for it to flourish. And the environment of fraud is described by these three factors in the fraud triangle. So why is this relevant today? Well, today, we are feeling enormous pressure. Just this week alone, I know so many people who have lost their jobs. People are really scared about what's happening to the economy. And there's been some reports out there in the media that says we could be looking at, in the United States, an unemployment rate of 20%. So here's what happens when you're in an environment of high pressure, is you start looking around for shortcuts. You start looking for ways to bend the rules. And then it's only a matter of time before you're doing things that are wrong and unethical in order to get what you want. One thing I would encourage all of you is to just become very aware of when you are in situations that you're under a lot of pressure because this should be a signal to you. A little red flag should go off in your mind to say, aha, this is one of the three factors of the fraud triangle. That is your signal to start looking around and be very conscious of the actions that you're taking. And you should be asking yourself the question, am I doing the right thing? As we all move forward together in these difficult times, just remember that the actions that you take in the next 30 days under extreme pressure are gonna define your character and your ethics. This is Zach from Wolves in Finance, thank you so much for watching. Let's go out and ethically make some money.